Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to set up your Kronos Chain wallet on MetaMask. And this can be helpful, for instance, if you're trying to mint NFTs on Kronos. And I'll show you a few examples of this after we go through the process of setting up the Kronos Chain wallet. So I'm doing this example on the Firefox web browser. And you can see that I already have the little MetaMask icon here in the toolbar up towards the top. And for you to get this, what you need to do is head on over to Google and then you're going to search for MetaMask. And in our Google search, what we want to do is in the metamask.io, we want to go down and click where it says download. And that'll bring us over to this MetaMask download page. And I'll also have a link to this posted down in the video description so you can access it through those means as well. So once we're on this page, what we want to do is click where it says install MetaMask. And for me, it's going to be for Firefox because I'm using the Firefox web browser. And this takes us over to the Firefox browser add-on for MetaMask. So what we want to do is click on where it says add to Firefox and then click add when you get this pop-up. And I'm going to allow this extension to run in private window. So I'm going to check this box and then click OK. And then it might automatically take you to this welcome to MetaMask page to get started. Or you might have to click on the little MetaMask extension up here in your toolbar. And from this page, what we want to do is go down and click where it says get started. And this gives us a couple of different options. Now, if you're looking to use MetaMask for the Kronos chain, you probably already have a Kronos wallet that has a secret recovery phrase. You can import this wallet to MetaMask, and you can do that right here by clicking where it says import wallet. But they also give you the option if you want to create a wallet yourself. You can do that by clicking the create a wallet option. I'm going to be importing a Kronos wallet, so I'm going to be clicking on where it says import wallet. And then you can read over this information, and if it looks good, you can click agree. And then at this point, you're going to need your secret recovery phrase to import your wallet. And you're going to enter in that secret recovery phrase right in this box. And then you're also going to set a password for your MetaMask. And then confirming that password, check over the terms of use. And then if everything looks good to you, you can check this box and then click import. And as long as you've successfully entered in your secret recovery phrase for your wallet, as well as your password and confirm that password, it should take you on to the next page where it says congratulations, and then you can read over this information and click all done here at the bottom. So that's going to take us over to our MetaMask wallet here that we linked up. Now, by default, it's going to have you on the Ethereum mainnet. What we want to do is have this on Chrono. So we're going to click on this little down arrow to open up this menu, and then we're going to click where it says add network. The network name is going to be Chronos. The new RPC URL is going to be evm-chronos.crypto.org with the chain ID being 25, the currency symbol being CRO, and the block explorer URL is going to be chronos.crypto.org slash explore. You can pause the video and copy this information down for yourself, or I'll also post a link down in the description from crypto.org's website where you can access this information over from them if you'd rather do that. So once I have all of this entered in, I'm going to click save at the bottom. And this takes us back to the previous page where now our MetaMask wallet here is hooked up for Kronos. We now have Kronos in here and Kronos is listed up here in the top. If we look at our networks instead of the Ethereum mainnet, we are now on Kronos. So now at this point, I have a few different websites that I want to show you how you can use this to mint NFTs, buy NFTs, or go to an NFT marketplace. So we'll start off with minting a Kronos NFT. And the example that I have here is Kronos Lizards. I want to note that this isn't financial or investing advice. And investing in NFTs is very risky. So know your risks before getting involved. And from the Kronos Lizards website, what we do is find where it says mint. We click on that. And on this page, if we go to the upper right-hand corner, we can see this option where it says connect wallet. This is going to connect up our Kronos wallet that we had hooked up through MetaMask. So if we click where it says connect wallet... And we get this option to connect with MetaMask. You select the wallet that you want to hook up and then click next. And then it's asking for confirmation here to connect. So we're going to click again where it says connect. And now we can see that our wallet is successfully connected. So if we wanted to mint NFTs with this particular project, we could do so with our connected wallet. So now moving on to the next example, we have the Kronos Chimp Club. And this is a Kronos NFT project that's already done minting, but you can still purchase NFTs on the secondary market. And that's going to be similar no matter what NFT project that you're looking at, that once the minting is done, then you can purchase on the secondary market thereafter. But on this place, also in the upper right-hand corner, you can see where it says connect wallet. We're going to click on that. And you have a few different options here, whether you want to use MetaMask, the DeFi wallet, or Wallet Connect. But I'm going to be using MetaMask for this example again, clicking on that. And again, the same process here where it's asking us to connect with MetaMask. You select your Kronos wallet and then click next at the bottom. And then confirming that you want to connect. 
and our wallet is successfully linked up in the upper right hand corner so if we want we can go over to the marketplace and you can look through the chimps that are available in the secondary market let's say maybe we wanted to purchase this nft if we click on it and we can click where it says buy now and it'll show you the current price in CRO of the NFT that you're looking to purchase and how much CRO that you currently have linked up in your wallet. And if you want to, you can click where it says buy chimp and get that NFT. And now lastly, I want to show you Abysos Bay Marketplace. So going over to their website and they have all sorts of different Kronos NFT projects that you can look through and purchase different NFTs on their website. And again, we can see in the upper right hand corner, it says connect wallet. So we're going to click on the connect wallet option and we're going to be connecting with MetaMask. So clicking on that. And again, same process where you select your Kronos wallet, click next, and then confirm the connection. And we can see that our wallet has successfully linked in the upper right hand corner. We can go over to the marketplace and you can search through the different NFTs there. We can also go and look at collections. And in the collections area, we can filter by specific NFT collections. So for instance, if we wanted to look at Mad Meerkat, we can click on them. And maybe you're looking to purchase a floor NFT. So the cheapest ones that are listed, if we filter by lowest price, we can see we have the lowest price options here if we click on it and then scroll down and click where it says buy now and you can look over the transaction this one is 1200 cro the estimated gas fee that is associated with that the total and if it all looks good to you you can click on confirm to purchase the nft that you're looking for and that'll round this one out so i hope this video was helpful walking you through the steps on how you go about hooking up your chronos wallet with metamask and how you can use that to purchase different nft projects for instance that are on chronos i gave you a few examples here but there are a lot of different options out there that you can choose from and i hope you found this video helpful in some way so i appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing to the youtube channel and i'll catch you back here next time